Jeez. <laughs> Happy now. Now is a vibrate, of course. Not going too far in the future. Not going too far in the past. Right now. Right now, uh, more than ever, you know, it's time to reassure ourselves and our spiritual nature or, you know, make sure we get, stay on that main focus, you know. Matter of fact, like with myself, I tell people, you know, going with the flow of the energy, being in the now is what you truly should be being. Even if it seems like something that's, you know, quote unquote, messed up or bad and this is why we should stay away from these constructs again of what we taught is bad and good or right and wrong you know it's all just different experiences you know with uh different uh different causes with different effects you know now that's not to say that you know well hey just not give a fuck about our spiritual growth and just not grow nah you know but again though you see where within yourself you know your true inner self, the reason why you're here watching any of these videos is because you do give a fuck about your spiritual growth, you know what I'm saying? But uh, just a time to remember to not let the heart weigh heavier than the feather. You know, uh, we are here in service of each other, you know, but it's in the essence of doing what we love, you know, and just by doing what you love. You know, you're gonna, in essence, fall in line with being in service to others. Use an example of like the birds singing in the trees. Like some people pass and hear that song and it inspire their day. Some people wanna record that song so they can play it over and over because they feel so beautiful, you know, whatever, whatever. But that bird just being itself, you know, where people benefit from that bird singing this song, you know, or that bird moving from here to here, you know, it might, uh, take a crap in this area <laughs> and a tree grow or something like that but you know not talking about uh, <laughs> not to compare it to us taking craps anywhere but uh <laughs> you know again just being within our uh you know true nature but like in our true nature though reason another aspect of us being uh you know vegetarians are beings who eat fruits and stuff because you know we eat the fruits eat the seeds it will pass through our bottle bowels and you have the seeds with fertilizer attached to it you know so you know it's an easy natural way but <laughs> just uh making sure you know we're uh not letting our ego run the show we cannot kill our ego matter of fact that's the egotistical thing thinking that we could kill our ego <laughs> The ego to hop back in the front seat, you know, uh, indirectly, like, it's like, I'm about to kill my ego. Shit, that's ego within itself, you know, uh, trying to be against something as if everything is not all of you, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's taming the ego, riding the dragon, you know, riding the dragon, all those stories of slaying the dragon, you know, that's dealing with the ego and also dealing with taming the sexual nature you know uh there's a little story of taming the dragon you know the the, the, the uh, prince or the knight had to you know slay or tame or more so slay the dragon you know uh to be able to deal with the princess you know he had to slay his over sexual desires you know in, the, in order to uh you know get the princess but again it's just stories and analogies because another thing too it's time to uh you know start digging into our research you know way more deeper you know uh of course they may have benefits from dealing with the bible or the quran or you know texts that uh that have been recently you know produced but it's just like that experiment in the class where you know the teacher tell one kid a sentence and then it passes around the classroom you know when they get to the last kid it's like you know the sentence all crazy or saw something else you know and uh dealing with you know some of these later forms of you know spiritual literature it's just like dealing with that last kid in the classroom you know it's like why would i want to deal with the last kid like if i'm looking for you know what that sentence really was about i'm gonna 
backtrack through class and be like, all right, who told you? All right, who told you? You know what I'm saying? And go back and go as far back ancient as I can, you know, because uh, also, you know, with the philosophical warfare, you know, uh, all these uh, people are praised, you know, like a Euclid, a Pythagoras. Here it is, you know, praise for the mathematicians, this and that, but couldn't produce something or or have somebody around them to produce something as amazing as the pyramid, you know, if they were so mathematically sound, or more so if they were the first people to be so mathematically sound, and, you know, why the pyramid's architecture is so, you know, uh, extremely mathematically sound lined up with the uh, Orion's belt and things in the cosmos as well, you know. And we're dealing with the cosmos, as I'm saying that. As a matter of fact, this is going to kind of just, just a little, you know, we're just running it. <laughs> but, like, you know, it's the inner universe that projects it outward. It's more so about what's going on inside of us, you know. A lot of the story of the Anunnaki, you know, is also, the, in essence, the story of gods going outside themselves looking for enlightenment or looking for, you know, some form of energy. It's like, well, of course you're going, you know, uh, become extinct or, you know, uh, fall from your grace because you're you know and which in which in that case if they was looking then you know is already falling from grace but you know of course you're gonna be you know in that falling place if you looking outside yourself you know when the goal when the true goal is inside ourselves you know that true uh manner you know that you know, when we take that yogic breath and that christ see all you know go up the spine but, you know, again, not letting the heart weigh heavier than the feather. And what the analogy to that was always about is, you know, leaving this earthly plane without feeling attached to it, you know. Like, it's like, uh, it's a way to detach from things while still being able to, you, you know, like I could use a car and use this phone, but I'm not attached to this phone. Like, I know that I am the technology that I have telepathy. I could FaceTime somebody with my, excuse me, with my spirit and my pineal gland. I know this is not the end all be all, but you know, I'm using it, having fun while I'm in this matrix. But again, it's not like, oh, you know, uh, you know, like extremely tied to it, but more so things that we are emotionally tied to, you know, like emotionally tied to, say for instance, somebody transitioning. That's why it's so important for us to realize people transition and they're not going nowhere and to not have a heavy heart, <laughs> you know, about somebody transitioning because they're just transitioning to another realm of existence, you know. Yeah, their body suit gone. And of course, you know, because we knew too, being the guys that we are, you know, uh, of course, some of us going to still kind of, you know, shed a tear, cry, whatever. And that's another thing, too. Don't hold that, that energy back, you know. If somebody transitioning, you know, miss, you kind of missing their body. So you know that they, they're they not going nowhere. You know you could talk to them and contact them. But, you know, you're just really missing that body suit, you know. Uh, but, you know, again, it's all right to let those emotions flow, let them go. But then, you know, get to that place of realizing, you know, they... They're not going nowhere. I mean, you know, in essence, uh, again, you can't connect with them on a, from a physical body standpoint, but you can still connect with them from a physical standpoint. That's why I call the, you know, I don't like to say the physical or non-physical realm, both of them physical realm, especially if you, you know, tapping into these higher dimensions, all of them, you know, like say for instance, that's like to say, uh, you know, when I'm tapping into like uh, with these DMT experiences, tapping into these high vibrations, these different realms, and to say, oh, well, you know, I wasn't feeling that, or this is non-physical realm, so I wasn't like, nah, it was physical, and I was feeling those vibrations, you know, just from a high vibrational perspective, but still feeling it, you know. But again, uh, not letting, you know, the heart weigh heavier than the feather. Oh man, they killed Alton Sterling, and you know, as black people, as a black person, I gotta find a way to. Matter of fact, and I even just you, as a white person, I gotta find a way to do this for my community. Or as an Indian person, I gotta, you know, be obligated to 
and it's like nah of course you know through through falling in alignment with our soul purpose and just you know being our true soul for selves in some way form or fashion we're gonna be in service to others but it's not in that you know thought form or mind frame of that I just have to be obligated to others you know what I'm saying and that in a, in a manner of like a you know, again, having a heavy heart about it, you know. Because it's straight, it's just like clockwork, you know. Uh, if you leave this plane, that's why it's so important for us to, you know, set healthy boundaries, you know, to not hang around any and everybody at certain times, you know, because re regardless of how nice we want to be, man, some people, you know, uh, have certain energies, you know, attached to them. You know, that's trying to keep you down here you know just like it may be working them in that moment you know what i'm saying and again uh not no good or bad thing it's just it is what it is cause and effect you know if you are trying to go to higher realms and connect with source you know and you know uh you know become your greatest version then these things you need to be aware of you know but again nothing good or bad about it it's just you know if you want a particular outcome, you need to do particular, you know, take particular actions, you know. Uh, but again, you know, uh, being important of not letting our uh, ourselves be weighed down, you know, like, say, for instance, like, being so attached to the herb, you know, like, oh, man, you know, like, realize, of course, it's all right to smoke the herbs. I use, always use the, uh, the statement, smoking the herbs and not letting the herbs smoke me, you know. <laughs> but uh, just all these different things on the earthly plane, you know, learning to, to detach from them, learning how to use them as tools without being attached to them, you know. Because a lot of the reason why, you know, uh, money may be manifesting slowly for us is because we, you know, we, uh, we're not looking at it as a tool, we're attached to it, you know, and, and that's for, for some of us, for, for, for those of us who, you know, have this higher purpose, you know, yeah, like a lot of cases when you go to, you know, focusing and worrying about money too much, it, you know, it's going to slow up, and, and, and it, well, I was going to say that's kind of the law of attraction in general, but, like I do see where some people, you know, uh, may be allowed to, you know, manifest abundance from, you know, worrying about it on that type of level where some of us is light workers. And again, we should be sustaining ourselves and nothing is wrong with abundance. But again, as light as uh, quote unquote light workers, you know, uh, where we don't want to become get to a place where we just all we focus about is just the money. How could I get money or you know, money, money, you know, it's like, uh, I want to say, because when I, I see for myself, like, say, for instance, focus on doing what you love, and the money will come afterwards. You know, a lot of the cases when money came to me, you know, uh, it was when I was enjoying myself or just over, like, I'm talking in a conversation, a deep conversation with somebody about chakras, this and that. You know, and then somebody come up to me and want to buy a bracelet compared to me feeling like, all right, I'm about to go with these braces and go door to door and this and that. And which sometimes it takes that. Sometimes I'm inspired through spirit to walk around with my braces, go certain places and make, you know, because there's certain cells waiting out there. But again, you know, it's, it's not through the chase of money. You know, as I said, being inspired, you know, and it's just like, all right, go here. Instead of like feeling like, oh, I got to make money today. I got to go, you know. And, you know, when you're hawking over or harping over it like that, you know, nothing to come. It's like going with the flow. It's like when I was least worried about it, and when I say least worried, again, of course you want to, you know, you're looking to, you want to sustain yourself. And as you sustain yourself, you're able to help others. But you're, again, you're not going about it by just being overly focused on the money. It's like, our higher self been following us since a little, you know, since we car incarnated here. 
and knowing all our desires, knowing that we've been asking for financial stability since a little, you know, since we knew what financial stability was, we was looking like, I, I just want to be able to enjoy myself, go wherever I want, when I want, do what I want, when I want. You know, and that's how I ask for it a lot of times too, is just like, you know, however it may come, whether it come in lump sums of money or whatever, whatever, or people just take care of me through, like instead of consultations for money, it's like people just help me out, whatever. But I'm like, I want to do what I want, when I want, and be able to do it at a drop of a dime, you know? And, uh, cause that's what this, this realm is about. It's not about you suffering or feel like, you know, oh, I'm obligated to do this. As a matter of fact, uh, shout out to, uh, what it is, uh, Flight Boss, the brethren, uh, with the channel. I forgot the beginning of the name, but Flight Boss, uh, if you look up Flight Boss, his channel should come up. But he brought up something uh, earlier, or not too long ago, about entities, you know. And uh, again, like how entities are implanted ideas a lot of times. And I say implant, uh, he went to another realm of it, but, but still indirectly talking to, you know, like, matter of fact, me getting back to when I was beginning this video about like, you know, again, not letting the heart weigh in heavier than the feather and also programming our subconscious mind and making sure that the things we dealing with is uh, not something that, you know, we feel like we obligated because we was taught to, to do this, you know. It should be something that you soulfully feel that you want to do and that you should be doing, you know, but from a soulful place, not out of you know, like, uh, well, you know, man, I gotta do this. Cause even with, you know, with my own work, you know, like, uh, if I don't feel like doing a video or studying, then I'm not gonna, you know, it's not meant for me to force myself through that. That means it's time for me to relax or, you know, uh, you know, go treat myself to something or, you know, just something other than, than that. Cause you know, my being is obviously saying like, nah, you know, like I should be, inspired like whenever it's gonna be time to do a video or take notes is i'm gonna be inspired to do it like you know when i was working with this as a right and it's like i didn't want to put the pen down like it felt like i was gonna die if i put the pen down you know what i'm saying because i was you know again inspired you know and not forcing myself because although you know somebody may see me studying be like god damn he always studying or he going in i'm doing what i love like i I love to be, uh, you know, to share information and I, you know, I also uh, love just learning new things, you know, so that's a part of doing what I love, you know, if doing what I love happens to make money, you know, but that's what, you know, uh, again, that's the end game, and I say the end game, but that's what we, you know, we doing what I love, we doing what we love to bring in revenue. But uh, right now, reassessing our values and what we believe in, you know, are our values and what we believe in because uh, of what we were taught growing up, you know? Like, or is it, you know, something that we find truly deep in our soul that we resonate with? You know? If you're doing something and feeling like it, somebody twisting your arm when you're doing it, like, you know, like, really fuck I really don't feel like doing this but I then you know you shouldn't be doing it it's not something you should be doing we are here to be blissful and experiencing you know every second of this existence you know uh anything else is a lie you know straight up <laughs> you know uh like to not and a lot of us when we speak on this like to not shit on people who you know f be like hard work this and that hard work you know uh, uh, of course we don't just you know like uh you know uh again just not shit on that aspect because you know some of us just gonna feel you know and oh again because some of us may love to work on that type of level whatever the case may be you know but again it, it's doing what you love you know again reassessing our values and what we believe in are we responsible for our values and our beliefs? You know, matter of fact, are my actions due to beliefs I was taught or 
or due to my true self, you know, due, due to, you know, what resonates with me eternally, you know. Like, uh, say, for instance, I use the example of me always clowning. Like, nobody taught me how to be humorous. Like, my mom and dad then say, hey, Kari, this is how you make jokes. You know, and this is how you're going to make you, this is how you're going to become a class clown and make all the kids laugh in class, you know. Like my, my parents didn't teach me that, you know, nor did my, you know, my cousins or anything for that matter because I wasn't really coming across them, you know, till later in life, you know. So these are all things that, you know, I naturally, you know, had a knack for. But, uh, again, assessing, you know, what's, what's our, you know, what, what we really, really, you know, value, what we really, really believe in, you know. Here it is, you know, we still deal with church or uh, these certain little aspects just because we don't want to make mom upset. You know, we feel obligated to not make mom upset or daddy upset or the family upset or this and that, you know. It's like, you know, you're not being true to the will of your, your soul, you know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, back to the entities, it's almost like an entity praying on you, you know keeping you in a lower vibration because that's a lower vibration of being scared to be yourself due to you know uh overcaring what somebody else think you know and that's also again back to the heart weighing heavier than the feather that's also the type of things that keep you you know stuck in this realm of reality you know like uh you know our ascension process in essence is just like you know being filtered you know, that's another thing too, is different strokes for different folks on our growth. You know, we all ascending on certain levels, uh, you know, at certain times, you know. It, it, it's not, uh, everybody's not collectively ascending at the same exact time. I mean, the fact that there's constantly people transitioning, constantly people being, you know, trans, there's constantly people transitioning out of this world and constantly people transitioning into this world and to say like well yeah every single being on this planet right now is going to be ascending at the same pace and the same rate and matter of fact that would create a situation of everybody being the same again and us not having you know uh being able to have you know different unique experiences and grow from grow from that like we all be the same you know it's like nah we ascend at different levels so it's not a race you know you know, uh, this is like, you know, the tortoise running the race. It's a marathon and not a sprint. <laughs> Matter of fact, I think to that, <laughs> a little dirty jerk, a little dirty joke. Matter of fact, kids, cover your ears. <laughs> but uh, matter of fact, shout out to my Uncle Larry. <laughs> but it was like uh, two cows at the top of, uh, it was like two male cows at the top of a little, at the top of a levee. We're going to say some, some Louisiana stuff. There was two cows at the top of the levee, and one is an older one, one is a younger one. And the younger one is like, man, uh, and again, this is in comparison to the, you know, this is a marathon and not a race, you know, it's not a sprint. You know, the, the younger cow was, you know, and it had some, some, some female, you know, uh, cows down there that was in heat and stuff like that. And, and the young bull, like, man, let's run over there and, uh, you know, and, uh, Fuck one of them. Uh, <laughs> excuse my diction. Let's let's uh you know uh let's let's run down there quick and, and have sex with one of the uh with one of the cows, you know. And the old bull was like, nah, let's walk down there and have sex with them all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like so instead of like running down there and by the time you run, you know, you out of breath. So you know you could only have sex with one of them compared to you know the old the old bull like look I'm gonna take my time walking down there and have a bunch of energy and I'm be able to have sex with more than one of them you know what I'm saying and again uh <laughs> just in the essence of again is you know taking your time it's it's not a uh, it's not a sprint it's a marathon you know the tortoise wins the race what's up ancestors I hear y'all. You know, that's that's the whole thing with our spiritual growth as well. It's not, you know, uh, no race. 
showing at whatever particular rate because that's what I was going to say like uh, that's also like with our ascension you know it's different realms to our ascension, ascension some of us I mean are just different realms to transition and in general you know uh, not ascension ascension you know ascension of the soul you know uh, but just transitioning you know uh, when we transition you know there's levels to you know there's levels to the ascension after transitioning you know because some of us may transition but I will again I was I was soul and spirit like so attached to this realm you know what I'm saying that it uh you know it stays in, in like in some cases like so say for instance uh of course you know you may transition and then reincarnate but then some some uh, uh some like soul soul stuck on like a certain house or a certain object or something you know what i'm saying to where they transition you know and then they become a ghost or like in this purgatory in this realm you know what i'm saying still in the little house they used to live in in a physical form you know what i'm saying because they were so attached to that house or you know to whatever you know that's why a lot of hauntings like was like a person who killed their family or this and that Nine times out of ten, they killed their family because they didn't know that th there's more to this life, you know. Otherwise, they wouldn't like, well, if I can't have you, I'm going to just kill all of you or this and that, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's not, that, that's being in the lower vibration and, you know, not not realizing that, you know, it is more to, to existence. So, you know, that's why those beings a lot of times be the type of beings ha haunting certain places and stuck in these certain physical spots, you know. Again, because uh, of the, the heart weighing heavier than the feather. And also, like, what people transition in a manner, like, uh, if you get into a car wreck, you know, and you, you know, you end up transitioning, but the car wreck, it happens so fast, you know, your body, you know, uh, you know, your spirit and soul leaves the body in, in such a manner where you don't even realize that you may have transitioned. You know, they also have that situation. You know, and that's where us with uh you know with these clairvoyant abilities and stuff like that where not only are we in you know in service to you know the 3d planes but also in service to the uh you know the higher dimensions that may exist uh you know uh within this realm you know but uh definitely with transition again some of us gonna have so much light in our body, you know, we're gonna go to extremely, you know, uh, high vibrational realm. Some of us gonna have a little less than the next, so we go to a realm that's a little lower than that. You know, it's like, uh, again, I, I start to see where, you know, yeah, we, like where dreams may come, like where we do have a say so in the afterlife but it's more so off of the type of life that we live right now is giving us what kind of say so we're gonna have in the afterlife you know what i'm saying like so what you're doing right now uh, in essence you know because say for instance because things are a little more chaotic on these higher planes you know uh you're gonna have to be stronger so reason why as above so below us it's about us focusing you know, being able, like with manifestation, being able to focus strongly. If you're not able to focus strongly or have strong blissful experience and have a strong tourist feel, you know, you won't be able to exist in these high realms of existence where you have to have a stronger focus because you won't have a physical body that, well, you know, say for without physical body, it's easy to just be, you know, universal frequency or just this soul, you know, because I'm in the body, you know. Like, I'm not just gonna float away compared to when, when we get to realms that, you know, where we don't have a, a 3D body. So, you know, things are a little more, in essence, uh, you know, chaotic for lack of a better word, but just, you know, less uh, Saturnian, Saturnian energy, less uh, boundaries and boxed in energy, you know, like things gonna be able to manifest in a snap of a finger, this and that. But if you're not strong in your focus, you know, somebody else manifesting you know things on a strong level should you become some energy that becomes a part of their manifestation you know not even being able to survive as a you know as a individual conscious consciousness on that realm because again you 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 never 
when you was on this realm, you never built up your light enough to have enough focus to step to these higher planes of existence, you know? Like, you know, uh, how could I be a planet if I can't take care of my own self, let alone, you know, uh, take care of myself and others, you know? Like, this is how, you know, again, this is where, you know, uh, the government mimicking us have certain parts right to like, well, yeah, we we do have like a soul school and a school system just like the grade system. Of course, it's not, uh, how can I say, a school where you're being taught to, to do their work, but it's still a, a, you know, a school system in essence for our souls. That's why they mimic it with, you know, an actual school, you know, but, uh, you know, going through these different, uh, different dimensions and different uh, levels of realms, you know. And again, just with, uh, you know, with the soul and spirit, you know, our soul is what actually travels to that next place or realm, you know. So say for instance, like, uh, you know, like my father transition, you know, his, when I'm talking, like when I'm talking to my, my pops, you know, I'm talking to my dad or whatever, I'm talking to his spirit, I'm talking to the, the energy signature that, you know, uh, you know, that the soul left here within the body, you know, AKA in essence, the spirit, you know, I'm, I'm dealing with that because his soul is either, either reincarnating into another person or ascending to a higher level, you know, in which I caught the read that his, his, he will be reincarnating as my, uh, as my firstborn. I don't know how she, you know, again, <laughs> but that was just something I was, you know, uh, told, but, uh, you know, and I say told, but you know, something I channel, let us see, uh, but again, you know, the, the spirit I'm able to interface with, but the soul is what, you know, what moves. So, you know, with me knowing what I'm knowing now, you know, I have the spirit here, you know, so say fences when y'all want to, you know, connect with my dear videos about this before, like uh, doing altar work, you know what I'm saying? You'll be connecting with my spirit. So, you know, you could leave me out a Lara bar, a little hit of some herb, you know, uh, some crystals, you know, uh, maybe some mala beads, you know, uh, even sit some little glasses out, you know what I'm saying? But uh, things that connect with the spirit of Carl Ray, you know, like, my, cause my soul is not Carl Ray. My soul is 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 uh occupying this body called Carl Ray on this human experience. But once that's done, my soul is on to the next level, you know. And the only way Carl Ray exists is through you know spirit. You know what I'm saying? But like uh, you know, which in some cases though, uh, just like with a Tupac, you know, like where. Uh, I do believe sometimes though uh that that vibe of like uh but I I feel more so it's from a strong earthly presence like where well, you know people loving your spirit and soul so much it almost stops you from ascending but uh I'm thinking like his soul would have had to be attached to like this realm as well, like where, you know, uh, kind of like the story uh, that Brother Panic brought up about Nate Dogg. Matter of fact, shout out to uh, Brother Panic uh, about Nate not really wanting to transition to them high planes. Like he missed being Nate Dogg. Like, you know, and, and that's a perfect example of us, the heart weighing heavier than the feather. Like, you know, instead of knowing that he, you know, it was a, uh, a, a star or a part of the universe on a human experience, you know, he thought he was just Nate Dog. you know, like, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> just take a look. <laughs> you know, I shade a date, you know, uh, what it is, I'm trying to think of something, he again, they will never be the same again, <laughs> I'm thinking about uh, <laughs> Michael McDonald. Anyway, uh, you know, your soul, again, if you attach to this realm on, on, on such a level, you know, then you're going to, 
And matter of fact, that's why too is about doing our sole purpose on this physical plane. You came on this physical plane to do things in this physical plane. So if you're sitting around not doing it, you're going to be having the vibe of being attached or feeling like you have some unfinished business or wanting to come back to finish something. That's why it's about living our life to the fullest where we feel like I don't regret shit. I done did it all. Like I became the musician, the great musician that I wanted to become. I became the great artist I wanted to become. I became the great whatever, you know, that I wanted to become. So I'm done with that realm, you know, scratch that, you know. Bam, there's a bucket list, you know, earth. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I did that, you know, compared to where it's like, you know, not fully, you know, falling into our purpose and, you know, being, you know, being scared to go, you know, uh, more deeply into our purpose, you know what I'm saying? That, again, and that ain't nothing but these certain little lower vibrational energies and entities trying to, you know, keep you down from becoming your greatest version. You know, misery loves company. There's certain energies on this earthly plane that needs food. And it's food is certain, you know, like lower vibrational emotions and thought forms and things of this nature that it, you know, feeds off and eats on and is trying to keep you in that, you know, that realm of existence so it could eat off of you, you know. Because, uh... Yeah. <laughs> I don't really want to send. That's basically it. Which, you know what? <laughs> I'm going to go in with it. Because that's another thing, too. I'd rather have a informational pack video than to be short stopping and you know, uh, doing a short video just to appeal to the reptilian brain. <laughs> but also just to recap about the importance of programming our subconscious, you know, like that's our subconscious is our primordial self is that part of us, our, our, you know, consciousness that existed before we had this physical body. Our conscious mind started to exist when this physical body started to exist, you know, but, uh, and with your uh your subconscious your subconscious basically uh deals with your basic life fun functions flight or fight i mean yeah flight or fight you know uh, learn behaviors and habits you know uh things that we do on autopilot you know the things that we do without even really thinking just doing with autopilot which this is 95% your subconscious rules 95% of your actions and behaviors, you know, and and you see this is why this is so important, you know, it's reprogramming and deep, uh, yeah, deprogramming and reprogramming the subconscious mind, you know. Uh, matter of fact, while I got the definition of social engineering right here, you know, which is a little different, but social engineering, the use of centralized planning in, a, in an attempt to m manage social change and regulate the, the future development and behavior of society. You know, so that means, you know, a centralized plan to manage the social change, you know. I mean, if I want to see cell phones in the future, I'm going to make a movie showing a cell phone right now, you know, like, like how they've been socially engineering us with certain things, you know, uh, I think of the movie Alienation, I'm gonna have to, I, I gotta do a video about that, but, uh, you know, how they had, like, this was 1988 movie, and they had the left phone with the FaceTime on it, and stuff like that, you know, again, uh, kind of preparing us for that, for that energy, and, and, oh, and that's another thing, and maybe, you know what, I may not get into the subconscious mind situation, because that's another thing to get into, too, it's also with us programming our own subconscious mind and not letting our heart weigh heavier than a feather. It's also realizing that uh, we are the true technology. You know, what's happening right now is a uh, is this you know push of technology on us. You know, uh, this transhumanism and all these things that's trying to take us to a place of separating from nature, separating from connecting with each other. You know, but not falling victim to this uh 
this situation because again, uh, and there's something else I was about to say about it. Oh, because uh, it's becoming very important for us, you know, soon we're going to have to start taking those next steps at uh, not dealing with electronics as much, you know, because uh, they, they, they keep on pushing these things, you know, in our face because, so say fences, you know, we have telepathy, we have telekinesis, we have all these, you know, extrasensory perceptions, you know, which, you know, uh, the government acknowledged because one of the main ways of them solving cold cases is through using psychics. And then they not too long ago came out, uh, they had a Times Magazine on one of them, National Geographic, one of them that talked about how the government had remote viewers working for them. So it's a fact that they know that we are capable of highly, you know, uh, extra, extrasensorial perception. You know, they know that we're capable of that because they've been dealing with it, you know. And then they know of different dimensions and realms and stuff like that. You think about the Philadelphia experiment. You know, these are facts, you know, you could go look it up right now, you know what I'm saying? It's not me just talking out the side of my neck. Please, that fast another thing, I'm, a, I'm not one to uh, debate, debate, but it's getting up, you know, like, feel free, you know, if you think, you know, research, like, go, go see, you know, <laughs> go, go see for yourself. Uh, but again, you know, we, we have these extrasensory perceptions, you know, so even down to me making this video, you know, I realize, you know, like, you know, uh, to a certain extent, you know, handicapping our abilities. But again, it's like using the, the, the thing that's used to handicap us to really make people aware of the fact that we could go without using these little technologies right here, you know. So it's like a little double entendre, the double-edged sword type, of, <laughs> you know. But, uh, you know, we, we have these abilities. As a matter of fact, right now in October, the veil thin, I'm pretty sure you're getting to see you know, uh, you intuitively being guided to certain things or you're having high levels of synchronicity, you know, and then here it is, you know, again, back to the, the studies that they might like to acknowledge, you know what I'm saying? Carl Jung, you know, dealing with synchronicity, you know what I'm saying? Like, they knew that there's no coincidences in this universe, you know, that it's all synchronized events, you know. So, uh, you know, again, we're dealing with with our extrasensory perception, you know, is to to always, you know, keep keep that active and be activists in that area because they're definitely trying to continuously promote, you know, these little technologies and stuff, especially, you know, uh, to the youth, like to make it all. Oh, don't you want to be a computer programmer? This and that, and ain't nothing wrong with it. Again, it ain't no right or wrong, good or bad, in essence. You know, it's just more so, uh, you know, again, uh, keeping this realm in a certain, uh, a certain level that allows for us, you know, that allows for our soul to benefit, you know, like these certain energies, you know, uh, these certain, you know, uh, whether they call them reptilian beings or whatever, but these certain beings, you know, want to create a certain type of environment on this physical plane that is extremely harmful to people's souls and on a level where it will make it hard for people to, you know, to ascend out of this realm, you know. Like, because you're, you know, with all the Wi-Fi and the horrible food. And it's another thing I tell people, you know, like, uh, like we we are being you know just uh bombarded by all kind of filth you know and lower vibrations on so many levels so you know another reason why you know the whole situation with them you know lying to us and not only lying to us and not letting us know that like hey y'all like people been existing in this realm for you know over ten thousand years and you know, and people been having telepathy and things of this nature, you know, the reason why they're not trying to teach you about that or get deep into it, because again, they don't want you opening up these abilities, you know, uh, for yourself, like, because they want you to buy their cell phones, you know, and make them money and create a more lower vibrational, 
you know, realm of existence, you know, that will make it harder for souls to ascend. And the harder it is for souls to ascend, the easier it is for them to keep everybody, you know, uh, boxed into this realm of reality, you know. So that's the, you know, uh, one of the main things. I kind of lost track of what I was. <laughs> You know, I was just talking about the importance of just knowing of our abilities, you know. Uh, like acknowledging, working on our extrasensory perception, you know, doing visualizations, open up that pineal gland, you know. Uh, because, again, we don't want a, a, a physical plane that's overran by, uh, you know, computers. Again, as I'm talking about this, we not uh, this is you, this is this is through just us being, you know, again, being our soulful selves. Is not no, oh, I'm over, I'm overly obligated to make sure, you know what I'm saying? No, just again, <laughs> uh, we're doing things to help this realm, of, of course. But again, doing things within this realm without getting attached to this realm. basics but that's basically it <laughs> so, uh, subconscious programming if you don't if you don't program your subconscious somebody will your subconscious rules 95 to over 95 percent of you know what you're doing and, and saying in your day, you know, daily activity. Uh, matter of fact, uh, ruling 95% of your actions and behaviors, you know. So it's very important to you know, uh, get the subconscious back. Making sure, you know, we following our hearts, you know, that's another important thing. You know, not being all in our thoughts you know, it's like following our heart. When when Elon Musk go to talking about all these computers doing all this stuff, you know, does that feel right in your heart? <laughs> you know, or does something say, you know, people trying to create a soulless plane? <laughs> you know, again, I'm not going to let my heart weigh heavier than the feather about it. But, you know, just being, just me being me, you know, uh, I'm in directly end up, you know, doing something that helps to uh, prevent that from happening. <laughs> Don't let the heart weigh heavier than the feather. Because, again, even with me ex expressing myself, you know, with connecting with the ancestors and stuff, this is a part of my, you know, me, you know, uh, being the vessel that I am, you know, just being in this realm of existence. You know, that doesn't mean I'm attached to the, you know, the, to the, uh, the ends to the means or the outcome or whatever, you know, it's like I do my work and I'm gonna do my work to the fullest. But, you know, that's all I could do. I'm not gonna worry on if little Jimmy down the street, cause I really wanted little Jimmy down the street to wake up, man, that's messed up. I want, you know, like, ah, you know, of course, yeah, I want everybody, but again, not being attached to, you know, you know, anything on that level. Cause again, this is just the science of dimensions. Like your vibration is, you know, you're gonna have a vibration of earth still strongly with, you know, connected with your, uh, you know, your spirit and soul. So, or should I say your soul? gonna have that you know that strong earth connection so with that it's like all right nah you you know sorry like it's just gonna have the sign like you can't even pass go like you gotta go back down because again and when we talk about like certain beings manipulating us in the quote-unquote uh afterlife situation i just see it more so as being manipulated here first and foremost you know 
like getting away from the manipulation here and not necessarily like being manipulated by no being afterwards you know but as above so below you know they still may have some you know something that may try to deter you you know uh but from what i i get you know we make our afterlife through what we're doing right now you know like that's why now is a vibrate <laughs> you know now things taste you know it changes the past and the future right now you know, i could change my past by telling somebody i'm sorry for what i did and changing up that energy you know uh you know that that little boy that that part of me that that's scared to do this little you know that always been scared to do something i could change that now you know change that past right now create my future right now now is the vibe rate something that can that stays consistent no matter who teaching you spirituality a white person black person orange person green person asian person alan watts Terrence McKenna, Bobby Hemet, Phil Valentine, Layla Africa, Brother Pan, whoever, you know, teaching. <laughs> Some way, form, or fashion, they're going to bring up, you know, being in the moment. And not, you know, being all over in your thoughts. Some of them may place different emphasis on how important it is, of course. You know, we all from different little schools, <laughs> schools of thought, so to speak, you know, but, uh, That's the, that's the vibe right now. So right now we got to, you know, be doing the works. Again, cause and effect. If some people may not want to sin, you know, uh, which in a lot of cases, that's the thing too. Let me keep it real about that. Most of us do want to sin. It's just that some of us are being held down by these demons, are in, are, and we are so deeply pulled down by certain entities and energies that we under the illusion that we want to stay here. You know, that's a, that, to be honest, because uh, you know, as much as I, I I try to be like that, you know, politically, it's like ah nah, you know, like if you kind of, if you want to be here, that's more so because you, a certain energy that wants to be here. Is strongly attached to you, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, but again, even with that being said, there's still no good or bad, you know. You know that that's that's your situation right now, you know, and uh, you could work on it to change it, but you know, again, our now was our now for a reason. This is not a sprint this is a marathon this is not a race against each other you know like oh i'm ascending higher than you i'm gonna be are you astral projecting oh you ain't astral projecting yet man i'm going to andromeda i'm going to serious i'm you know it's like you know, it's like nah it's not a matter of fact because again that's ego coming back out like oh yeah oh you ain't oh you universal frequencies and you ain't you don't know how to talk to a crystal or do that. Oh man, you ain't on this level. You ain't on that level. This and that. And some people may not say that you not on this level part, but you know the way you know comparing groats is like it's still you know that egotistical. You know, worrying about again things that's gonna make your heart heavy. Being attached to whether what this person that on they grow or oh, I'm better than this person they grow again. That's ego has lower vibrations that you know won't make it <laughs> won't make it through the little filtering system you know when you come to that first little filter you know like matter of fact say for instance like all right just like how they had them little kids toys where you gotta put the triangle or something picture if they had like a filter a filter
filter system, you know, that you would go through, you know, but like, uh, say fences on the first, the first filter, let's just say you gotta be able to make it through there, you know, uh, oh, matter of fact, let, wait, let me see, cause it's something about it. Cause I'm trying to think. I'm, I'm like, uh, I know a small. Cause if you're doing a filtering system, you know, say for instance, the big eye aura is, you know, uh, the big eye torus fill, you know, plasma fill spinning, you know, uh, in the higher realms we could, you know, uh, ascend to. So I'm just thinking, like, you know, but basically, let's just say though, know, you know, uh, certain souls, you know, they get to a certain level of growth where you know they soul, let's just say, shape like this. You know, then they get to the filtering system, you know, uh, and say, for instance, they shape, because they didn't do the work or whatever, their soul is shaped like a circle, they can't get to this, you know, to this next level, because they soul is still shaped like a circle, so as they ascend, you know, like a little kid trying to smash the little different shapes into the thing, it's like trying to smash the circle into this hole, it's like, all right, like, so trying to, you know, like, bam, trying to, but it's like you won't be able to uh you won't be able to ascend you know because your soul you know still holding on to some certain things that didn't allow for your soul to reach a triangle shape and then and so now you're in this realm of you know where the souls are of a triangle shape and you know doing whatever the work is on that realm and then to get to the next realm you got to make it your soul the shape of uh, a Merkaba, a star of david you know what i'm saying then when you go to this one, you know, uh, in which it would be probably the same size. So let me not do that. So let's say, like almost the same size as a triangle. So you could really see the perspective of it. So when this triangle soul, you know, comes to, when this size triangle soul comes to go to that next level, if, it, if it's still shaped like a triangle, it won't be able to go through to this next level. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna get stopped up. You know, because if you're looking at this triangle, you know, you're looking at this, it won't be able to, uh, you know, go through. And of course, I know what you can say, because that's why I tried to do, do the picture as best as possible, you know, uh, in the analogy. But like, of course, to a certain extent, you can see probably how a triangle passed through this, but for the, for the sake of what I'm, you know, dealing with let's just say this triangle because it's not shaped the same you know it won't it won't be able to go to this round you know and it's just a continuous you know filtering system you know matter of fact shout out to brother sanchez too because he had did a uh, video recently that uh spoke on like the seven heavens you know and matter of fact speaking of seven heavens and the water fountain matter of fact because i was just at the Pentagon Barracks or the Barracks or however you said Barracks Pentagon uh, over here by the river you know it's basically like some building shaped like a Pentagon and in the middle of the building they have like a water fountain you know like a little fountain you know and uh you know in the middle of our tourist field we do have like a five you know uh kind of like a Pentagon you know shape in essence that's uh how can I say that the the middle of our tourist field has in essence you know and you know with with that being in the middle of our tourist field you know in a tourist field imploding going in and exploding outward going in and exploding outward but uh like it's no coincidence that that water fountain you know is a uh, is in the middle of you know that pentagon also represent being in the middle of that tourist field you know, and uh, also again with uh, what Brother Sanchez was talking about with again these filtering systems, but also like he was like, you know, like say for instance, you know those uh those type of water fountains were at the bottom, like the kind of like you could throw uh like a wishing well type of uh water fountain thing. You got the bottom base that's kind of you know more wide and bigger, 
then you got like the next little level which is you know a little more you know a little more smaller then the level above that is a little more smaller you know and then a level you know but uh again like where the water like the realm we in is at the bottom looking at the bottom of that next realm like that's why they always in essence de depicted uh asgard you know with thor and uh and what's his name uh <laughs> thor i, I always want to say wednesday old <laughs> You know, uh, Thor and Odin little spot in the sky, Asgard, you know what I'm saying? But, like, uh, and Brother, uh, Brother Sanchez's explanation, you know, was like being in that bottom of the water fountain, like that's what this earthly plane is, and then the next heaven up, like we staring at the bottom of it, you know, like if we was at the bottom of a water fountain, staring at the bottom of that next tier within that water fountain. Then when you get to that level, then you know, you'd be right there and then to go to the next level. And like, but, and when you get to that next level, you're also looking down, you know, cause like also speaking to the firmament, you know, where there's certain levels to the firmament, you know. So the filtration system could also be like the firmament in essence. Like, you know, uh, when we go to, to leave this plane, you know, leaving out of the firmament, uh, Again, almost like this situation, the filtration system, like where your soul at with it, you know. You either go through you go through the first one and then you could possibly go through the second one. You know, uh you have to have a certain uh vibrational, you know, uh vibrational frequency. And depending on that, that depends on the dimension or the realm that you, you know ascend to but that's basically it <laughs> and realizing it's not no not a race Wherever you are right now in your spirituality, you know, it's, you know that's where you should be. You know, only reason why you think you're not is because you're comparing, you're trying to compare your spiritual growth to somebody else. You know, I done fell victim to it, so I, I definitely understand. You know, it's like oh, I, I should be on this level because this person the same age as me, or not the same age as me, or this and that. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh. Falling into these little realms is like staying out of the thoughts, staying out of the ego, just wherever you at is perfect for you. you know? That's where you at to be learning the lessons you should be learning. <laughs> Peace. Happy now. Now is a vibrative course. Not too far in the future. Not too far in the past. Right now. Peace.